Welcome to the XM Facts Microsoft Teams Application Integration Guide. This guide will cover adding the XM Facts application to Microsoft Teams, signing in, which integrates your Teams application with your XM Facts Cloud account, and then securely sending faxes using both the chat and the web form method. Let's get started. First, open Microsoft Teams and browse to the Apps Center in Teams. You'll use the search function to find the XM Fax application for your region. For the sake of this demonstration, we'll be adding it in the US region. Simply press Add, and then yet again press Add to add the application into your Microsoft Teams environment. You can see a chat channel is then created with the XM Fax Assistant guiding you through the process. The very first function is the help feature and you can either click on that function or type the words help and send a chat. And the system will respond with your options related to the XM Fax application. The next step we must sign in to our Xmedius Cloud account and integrate using with a secure token. So we type the words sign in and send that chat. This replies with an integration chat message. Click to obtain your user token. This will open your default web browser asking you to sign in to your XM Fax account. As you can see, I'm signing into my web account and my username and password are preloaded. When I sign into the account, I'll be presented with a screen and this is specific to the Microsoft Teams integration. I'm going to copy this unique user token to the clipboard and then browse back to Microsoft Teams and paste that unique user token into the proper field and press apply. This integration is now complete and it lets me know that I can send a document using the send commands through XM Fax. I have options at this point where I could drag and drop or browse to a new document. In this case, I'm going to browse to my local file folder and upload a document from my device. Here's the XM Fax HIPAA compliance white paper. I'm going to choose to replace that because I've uploaded this more than once. Then I'm going to use the term or the chat command send fax to and type the phone number of the recipient where I would like to send the fax. Simply by hitting send, this particular chat is now complete. The response is the broadcast ID confirming that XM Fax has received my request and will now fax that document to the designated number. As an alternative, I could also upload a document, again directly, and I'll use the same document, from my file repository. Again, I'm going to choose to replace it, and I'm simply going to chat that document into the chat window. Now, if I hover over that communication, I can press the ellipses, and I can choose to use send using XM Fax. If this is the first time you've used this application, you may have to browse through the more actions to access this particular feature. Once you've used it once, it will save itself in your commonly used or pinned settings. When I press the send using XM Fax button, this creates a web form where I can add additional information related to my fax. For example, I can again type in my fax number, I can type in a recipient name, open text for a company name, and a subject line, HIPAA white paper. And then I can choose to send that fax. This information will automatically populate the default cover sheet assigned to the user sending the fax. And again, our response will be throughout the chat window telling us we have successfully queued uh, this fax for delivery. This is a guide documenting how to add the Microsoft Teams application for XM Fax to your Microsoft Teams instance, sign in and integrate 
Microsoft Teams to your XMFAX Cloud account and send a fax using either the direct chat or the web form methodology. Thank you for watching.